Over the past 10 years, FXR's product and product lines have changed drastically to include not only race and trail gear for the winter, but now also full lines of snowboard and mountain riding gear, as well as a full lineup of motocross gear for the summer. And while yes, the product lines have changed, a few things about the company itself have stayed exactly the same. FXR gear is still designed by passionate riders for passionate riders with a focus on functionality, quality and style. They have also continued to support top level athletes. Uh, my relationship with FXR is started, I'd say off and on since 2006, we started working together. Um, back when, you know, snow gear was the, the big ticket item and, and they were just starting to get off in the moto. And when I was in motocross big, I called Milt and uh, it, it's such a family oriented business. Um, and just same thing, like it's like, they have everything you need from every season. So for me, it was awesome to have the same gear and, and the colors. I love the brights. Like I'm a, I like the flashiness. Also, they make great kid stuff down too, which at that point they never did. And I never thought that I'd have to ever think like that to uh, uh, what my kids are gonna wear. And now me and him are both flashy in the backcountry. When it comes to athletes who can best speak to FXR's success in each of these markets, there isn't a better choice than Brock Hoyer. While he is probably best known for winning X Games Snowbike Cross in 2017, Brock is also an extremely talented mountain rider and has raced motocross since he was 14 years old. The direction that FXR has done for my career has been amazing. Um, bringing me out to races, helping with support, the safety and technology and the gear for racing and or for backcountry. Honestly, I could say with confidence that I don't think I'd be where I am today without them. Um, so yeah, it's everyone I've worked with and said from day one, I wouldn't have picked a better group of people to work with if you could even bet on it. Like they, it just, everything fell into, and I always believe in that as everything happens for a reason. And I, I feel like I, it was like fate to work with certain people or a lot of these great companies that I do already. It just fits and you don't even think about the options of somewhere else because you just know this works so well and, uh, and you'd be thankful for where it's brought me. Of course, the waterproofness being dry is one thing. Um, they're insulated stuff, keeping warm. Uh, the two important things for me is, is color, being seen. Blacks and grays just blend in so much and a lot of the old gear companies, that's all they did. And now you can pick guys across like kilometers of mountain range. Um, and know who it is, or know if it's your riding buddy or your partner. Um, the second thing for me is that all the kids' gear is sold with fast technology, float assist. So for me, it's just one extra thing that I know that if my kid, heaven forbid, it happened, but we were riding across the lake and he went in, that at least I know he has some kind of buoyancy built into his gear. There's lots of things like that that they just make you reassure that, end of the day, this stuff's safety gear. They make it fancy and it looks beautiful, but it's to keep you safe in the backcountry or trail riding with friends. And honestly, it does that. A lot of great stuff gets made out of country and, and we all wear it and love it. And to have something that's built and made and, and designed and engineered in my home country and I even get to help with it, that's, that's pretty cool to see and how well it does in the global scale. Built energy in this company has brought it to where it is right now. Um, honestly, us as athletes, we all put our, our, our pitches in of, of things that might we've been able to improve or things that might be super awesome. And they take it in consideration. Some stuff they use, some stuff they don't. Some of the weird, wacky things we suggest might cost too much to make, but they'd be super cool to have. But a guy like Milt knows what he can do and can't do. And, and with the timing that the industry and how things are getting more creative now with um, shipping demands and manufacturing backlogs. So um, with his insights, uh, he's grown the company and we've been able to help. For a day-to-day -day snowbiller to snow biker, um, my gear selection doesn't change at all. I'm warm and dry in all my gear. Honestly, gloves might be a thing. I might go do a little thinner glove just so I can feel the bars on, a, on the snow bike. But honestly, the day-to-day -day stuff, nothing changes. I think the biggest thing with FXR is they're just always wanting to make things better and uh, making it better is better for me because it makes my life easier as an athlete, as a rider, as a consumer. I think that's why we all stay where we are. It's just an amazing company to work with and, and there's more to come.